I do apologize for that visual hit, but we're still talking about human trafficking, illegal migration, and of course, the United States immigrant ban, or rather immigration ban on Nigeria. Yemisaka, I will start with you here. What do you think, or rather, what is the reason why we have lots of illegal migrations in Nigeria, or rather going out of Nigeria? Oh, like the, the simple word, in one statement, greener pasture. Okay. You look at, um, you bring a dollar out now, it's like 360 naira. Mm -hmm. We bring a great British pound, one great British pound, that's almost 500 now, 520. Yes. You bring out um, one hero, that's, all, that's 400 naira, there about. So that tells you the motivation for migrating. Um, I want to follow, take a cue from Victor. Um, mm -hmm. And since the buttress my greener pasture and ad analysis, Abraham, the father of our nation, had to leave his father's land. Okay. Migrated to a new land. Mm -hmm. I forgot to meet him and say I'll make you the father of all nations. nations yeah. So that's why well, that's what tells you why a lot of people probably want to move to where God will meet with them and tell them this is how to bless you. That is one. Secondly, um, some people are feeling secure where they are. They feel hopeless. The dystopic states of the states of where they are, their home country is an obvious for them to move. They prefer that I. Uh, it's better for me to die where human lives is treated with dignity than um, than. From, sorry, than in Nigeria, where I can be slaughtered by headsmen, where I can be kidnapped and be killed by by bandits and um, kidnappers, where SARS can even kill me, the police can kill me, depending on the, the time what happens to me, where even my corpse will not be treated with dignity. We see a lot of um, people that died, fire outbreak, bomb blast, and everything. Mm -hmm. even how they treat their corpse. You don't even you can't treat the carcass of, of of a vulture like that. So it tells you why they want to move. Um, illegal migration too. I want to take a cue from the Bible too. And the first human traffickers. I'm not trying to offend anybody. Were Joseph's brother. Mm -hmm. They trafficked him and that led him to glory too. So it's it's an age long thing. You can't curb it. You can reduce it. And the only way to reduce it or curb it in your or make it um, streamline it in a way that's going to be legitimate in your country is if as a government and as a people you start doing the right thing, providing the basic infrastructure and what have you. Okay. Even a digital pound is greater than the naira. You find a lot of Nigerians going to Egypt, working there as domestic staff, house girls, uh, housemaids, and caregivers, what have you. So, but if Nigeria as a nation, we look inward, we, we should stop this rhetoric, we should stop lying. I don't like it when you come and start giving us false figures and everything, and you're painting a picture of what is not. You're trying to paint a scarecrow for me as Mona Lisa. I won't take it. All right. If they do the right thing, Nigerians would not want to leave. Okay, let me button down there. You said the federal government should do the right thing, but what about Nigerians caring about their own lives? Now you're going to migrate to another country and you're going through dangerous means, going through the sea and all that. Don't you feel that your own life, fine, the federal government has failed, but don't you see your own life as a priority? Why not just go through legal means, to the, the proper means? You're not saying the high, the high is on the goal, the target, the, the, the head point. That's the motivation. That's, the, that's what's pumping the adrenaline. Even while their own life is at risk? That's what's pumping that because it believes once I can scale through this audio, once I scale through it, I'm made. Do you, you see? I, there was a time I was involved in football management and American footballers. And I think Nigerian footballer wants to just leave this country, even to go and play in Sudan. Hmm. Do you know what that means? A, a, a footballer that earns like $500 a month, convert that to Naira. Yeah. In three, six months, one year, we we'll build a house. Compared to his colleagues playing in the local league, that they will sign, give them bogus amounts on paper, but will not see it at the end of the day. So you look, so you do not blame them. I'm not supporting it. I'm, 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 I'm a guy that believes that you can always still get it right. It's just yeah. trying. But we should not, the threshold differs from one human being to the other. So rather than die of, let me just die trying. All right. Okay. Okay, while you've talked about the failure of the federal government once again, uh, and the reason why people are not even seeing their lives being at stake in traveling illegally, what about, let's look at the United States president now, the immigration ban. Do you see that the failure of the federal government has led to this immigration ban in Nigeria? Yes, exactly. Then first of all, um, Nigeria is now the uh, world poverty capital, mm. if you must know now. You know, departure from um, India because of poor governance. One of the major challenges we're having in this country 
is because of poor governance. Even what we have discussed in Italia is still related to what we're talking about now. If we have good governance, those that are capable with sincerity of purpose, you would have illegal or people migrating, but the, limit, the limitation would be understandable. Valuable, yeah. Are you getting my But In Nigeria, look at that, that lady. We did that story on Urban Express News where that lady, after she, you know, she entered into Lebanon, yeah. got trapped in, 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 a, in a man's place, and look at the way she, has, she was being dehumanized, and it was that social media cry, you know, that made everywhere, you know, to, you know it went viral. And you can see the way, you know, Abike Dabi led the what's it called, uh, Diaspora Commission sure, yeah. came up, and, you know, eventually she was, you know, you know brought back to this country, sure, yeah. you know. But in fact, the, uh, the truth is what uh, uh, Mr. Sakaf said, that majority of them just want to go out of the country. But the failure aspect of it is that, do they know what they are going to make there? Now, when they get there and discover that what they are seeing can no longer be bearable mm -hmm. to them, they begin to shout. A, a typical example is what I just cited in Talia about the lady. So, purely good governance. We need good governance in this country. Our we don't need in US in this country. Okay. They say we don't need US. If the country got everything right in terms of good governance, we don't need US. US needs us. They need us. Nigeria, apart from apart from uh, uh, Nigeria, has out of twenty nine existing resources in the world, Nigeria has nineteen resources. Mm. Nineteen natural resources 19 that most states in this country that will tell you it cannot boast of resources but because nobody is thinking creatively everybody wants to go to niger data and begin to pick that crude oil including those those are our leaders did you have you ever th have they ever think of bitumen in undo have they ever think of uh, tantalite in uh, zambara have they ever thought of uh, those uh, chemicals they used to to get paint do you know nigeria can produce the 99 percent of what they use to do paint in nigeria in this country is produced locally oh. but because they don't they, they are not thinking of all those things they think of crude oil. oil and they don't they think less about me and you so whoever wants whatever you want to be go ahead and that if you do any crime the police will arrest you they will use police Four police. I, I interviewed one police. I will not mention that police said, oh God, these people, it will get to a stage we go, we go turn our gun against them. Hmm. But it's a fact. Because they know that once they have any issue, the next thing is to bring the police that they are paying step into, you know, against their fellow people. Hmm. Yeah. But when do you want to run for reality? Run far from reality. The, the reality of it is that engage these youth. The resources are there, the, 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 the crude oil is booming. So because of the fact that they don't want to do anything other than that Niger Delta crude oil, we are finding ourselves in this situation. If you go to an airport today, there are millions. In fact, what am I, yes, last week, NSCDC reported that, uh, sent a press release that they have arrested another, no, immigration. They yeah. sent a report that they have arrested about 17 other Nigerian trying to move into Lebanon. Mm. Even after that one that went on, went viral on social media. So that tells you that the poverty stake is, is too high. But what is the solution? Is it not those that are in the leaders, in, in the position of the leaders? You know, the, I read in the history of uh, Babatunde Fashola, he, he, he had a scholarship, you know, to study in his own time. Okay. So I told, when, when they, send, they asked me to come and present the paper somewhere, I said, well, if a senior advocate of Nigeria had the opportunity of getting a scholarship, scholarship yeah. in that time of 1980-something, why are they not providing that for us in this generation? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Look at it. So that is it. All right, thank you very much there. Once again, the call for good governance has been reiterated.